I am, as I was introduced, I am a publisher by profession. That's how I earn my bread and butter. Writing is my hobby. A few books, a few columns in newspapers. A mountaineer. That is my nature. What University of Bombay didn't teach me mountaineering did. A few expeditions in Himalayas, including Everest Base Camp. And an economist by education. I have done my posters, post-graduation in economics, then a management degree. And I still follow economics. I started my business career at the age of 17. And I was lucky to do that because I could graduate within myself very fast. <laughs> I am here to present an idea that is good for all of us, for you, for me, for everybody. Let's see what is the idea. That was a horn section of a Western classical orchestra playing Brahms. Blue the move. This is real and not doctored. Here it is. Those old style loudspeakers, we not only ignore honking in India, but we do absolutely nothing about it. We take it for granted, aisa hi chalega. To aisa nahi chalta hai. If we decide aisa nahi chalana hai, to aisa nahi chalega. This is my inspiration. I was visiting a printing exhibition in the city of Düsseldorf in Germany. Then it was called West Germany. And in the exhibition site, there were roads and people selling hot dogs or popcorns or something. The exhibitors come out, the visitors come out for a drink or for a bite. That was a brand new Porsche there. And it was inching. It didn't honk. It did not raise its engine. But it was caring for people around. And people around were praising the car and having their bite also at the same time. So I said, this is something, I had never seen something like this in my life. So there I got that, you know, match burning effect. Next. In Texas, if you honk, Texans are cowboys. They take it as insult. Bush, father and son were cowboys. So are the Texans. So people are shot if they use horn. That is a Texan style of handling the problem. Again in Germany, once we were touring, lot of people with us, a few couples and we stopped at a supermarket to buy some f fast food or pizzas or whatever. There was a lady, very smart lady and she wanted Pepsi instead of Coca-Cola or some small thing like that. And she wanted to have attraction of her husband who was buying at the counter. So what we do in India? We honk, hey there. She honked on the autobahn. And the entire traffic came to a standstill, you know, like a movie camera closing down. Germans couldn't comprehend on the autobahn in a bus, they call it bus, why a lady is honking. There was a traffic jam and when they, she, when they realized that she was trying to call her husband, they la laughed and went away. Here we have our slogan, horn okay please. Our RTO, road transport department, tells truckers to put this on there. Somebody made a film of this name, Horn, okay, please. It has gone deep into our culture, which is harming us. How? This problem of honking lies only in this part of the world. This problem does not exist. <laughs> but only in developing countries, we have this Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Silo, only here. 
otherwise in the world nowhere you will hear honking people who travel first time they say there is some difference there is what is that difference and then you realize oh there are no horns around next foreign cars this is a newspaper <laughs> literally they have to make their decibels high to make those cars you know uh, usable because otherwise the owners go and say people don't hear us it used to happen to me also after the german experience i got a bmw bovike even today i have it totally silent shaft driven bike and at dada market when i used to go people used to stop me no noise so they used to think that they can stop it and once they touch it with just a sheer inertia of that engine they used to be thrown away then they will ask horn kyun nahi bajata hai what is the answer honk this is paikel perche audi india ceo the amount people honk in mumbai on a daily basis is what an average german does on an annual basis so where is the comparison what is development what is human development what is public health these are the basic questions we have to ask on our nasty height of honking 30% of the fatigue 30% of the fatigue this is a times of india article is because of honking we get tired we don't realize that but we get tired just because a lot of heavy decibels are thrown in our ears and that reaches our brain next according to who who world health organization the relative risk of hearing loss increases with noise levels over 85 decibels and is very high over 90 decibels this is who reporting 15 to 29 year olds exposed to over 90 db is at the greatest risk this applies to occupation exposure but this is what most mumbaikers are exposed to these kids are likely to go deep next why this happens i try to analyze this is according to my analysis there could be other 10 15 reasons near rich culture excess money the first thing the kid does is buy buy the bike two wheeler dhoom and does dhoom on the road honking constantly also those two stroke engines if they honk even the rickshaws and they increase the rpm of the engine so the horn goes like this it hurts ego and to tell people i exist next what is the solution we got to find a solution on this we can't take it forever it spoils our health so the best solution to do it is to tax usage of honking the government should tax people for excessive usage of horn how to do that there is this is a device it says first <coughs> here is enter r then enter and then you key in your mobile number for as identification and then from a scratch card for this device this scratch card is developed by um, its cash a company called its cash or paypal could do it there are many companies scratch the number and key it in once you do that you have 100 rupees of charge now for the first say 2 minutes or 3 minutes the usage is free you can use the horn sparingly carefully nobody is going to charge you for that that is free it's bonus in the beginning generally people have bonus in the end but in this model bonus is in the beginning after that the green light will continue the green light will be that is you have got a charge in your meter when 10% of time is left say that 10 rupees are left out of 100 this like our signal this orange light will start blinking telling the driver will you please go to a puc center or a indian oil pump or at a store where you can buy a cash card scratch card and you recharge the machine okay if you don't then when you run out of the money the red button will start blinking and with the red button the parking lights of the car will start blinking telling the cops that this guy has not paid for usage of horn this is a prototype 
and this is the actual size of it it would be fitting just on the dashboard of the car and what it does is it measures the current horn uses current draws from the battery of the car so every microsecond is measured and you have to pay for it if you use it in excess no honking movement should be done like no smoking movement no smoking was an amazing movement now if you go even to the amsterdam airport which is known for smoking hell of a lot of different things you can't smoke people look at you in a derogative way if they find you smoking in los angeles once me and a general friend of mine a journalist friend of mine we came out of a break and we started smoking so a kid came says so, uncle it is bad for you don't do it so we moved around the kid came there also we had to extinguish our cigarettes so my aim is not revenue generation it has got nothing to do with revenue it is to create a mindset in the people a social but bringing out a social change in the mindset so when making law doesn't make much difference if you can make people's mind change they do it voluntarily the gandhian thought basically so let them do it the barometer is i have to pay for it this is the coverage i got from all the print media coverage video coverage or television coverage i am not showing but all journalists have picked up the idea horn usage meter to make you pay for honking a device that can save you for honking on the roads horn usage meter invented soon you may have to pay price every time you honk so the press representing the people in short has picked up the idea it was first time presented and now we end with the different kind of horns that was horn section we saw of berliner philharmonic playing blue danube we'll go there again but in a reverse way that has to happen here we go Enjoy. <laughs> This is Karayan conducting. And that is the hall. So no honking, please, and you should be joining in claps of that band. Thank you very much.